Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another outfit guide. This one for a very interesting character. That would be John Wayne's character of J.B. Books from his, I believe, final film that he ever was in, uh, The Shootist. So this is definitely a very iconic film and if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out because uh, from what I understand, a surprising uh, number of people who would call themselves John Wayne fans have never actually seen The Shootist. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a great movie to check out and I highly recommend it. And as always, we're going to start off with weapons so i'm going to show you the weapons that he was well known to have used in the film all right so for the guns uh this one's actually pretty interesting because it's probably the most ornate guns you've ever seen john wayne use in any of his films and he actually has a dual set of two colt single action revolvers that are heavily customized so i believe in the movie they uh handle it, the grip is actually some sort of either ivory or horn but it's worn to the point where it looks like a dark yellowish brownish look to it uh so whatever it is it's not something that we can currently imitate in the game and I didn't want to use pearl grips so I went with the ironwood grips and I gave them the bacot uh, finish because I think it's the closest as far as the color is concerned uh, but the more interesting thing is the actual makeup of the gun so both of these are like most of John Wayne's movies going to actually be the quick draw variant of the Colt single action army revolver so we're going to need to go with the short barrel other than that for this one he actually has them engraved and they've got pretty full engraving all over the entire gun so I just put some engraving on here and I actually put brown steel in it because I think it matches the color of the guns from the the movie the best and then I went with black steel for the barrel the cylinder the frame the hammer the sight and the trigger so all the way around and he has a matched set of these I don't think you ever see him wearing two holsters in the movie but I could be mistaken but he has a matched set so that's why I would say you need two of these for this outfit um outside of that he also uses a derringer in the movie especially right it's basically right at the beginning he uses a derringer just throw me your wallet yes sir a little something extra <laughs> and is known to carry it throughout the movie. Obviously, there's no Derringer in the game yet. I really hope they add one eventually, but there currently isn't one. And then at one point, he is seen carrying a Winchester rifle, but he never shoots it. So I'm not going to include that. I'm just going to go with his matched set of revolvers, which in the movie, they refer to as Great Westerns. I don't know if that's a real thing or if it was just made up for the movie. In either case, I think it's interesting, and I think the guns look pretty dang cool. So that is the guns for this outfit. Let's move on to the outfit itself. So this is the outfit we have. And now the facial hair for John Wayne from this movie isn't perfect. It's actually very similar to what you can see Dutch using in the single player story. And for some reason, that's not an option online because he'll have sort of a thicker, but not as thick as the mustache I've got on here, but a mustache and then a little kind of, I don't know if you call it a soul patch or a goatee, something like that is, is goes with the mustache. That's what JB Books uses. Uh, that's what JB Books has in the shooters. Unfortunately, like I said, there's nothing like that in the online. So I just went with the mustache because I think it's arguably the more important part. And I made it gray. I believe this mustache is called the Professor. Uh, like I said, none of them really look perfect for it, but I think this one's the closest. It also kind of looks like Samuel Elliott in literally anything he's been in though. So you might be mistaken for him. But in any case, uh, that's the way. And like I said, gray, just like the hair should be gray because, you know, at this time when this movie was filmed, John Wayne was pretty old and his hair was pretty gray so that's the hair let's just get to the outfit and uh get going through the items so obviously we start off with the hat and uh this tan this light tan kind of almost whitish variant of the Cayuga hat is almost perfect now in the movie his hat is tall like this it's a big old I, I don't know if it's what you call a 10 gallon hat but it's a Stetson and it's got a tall top it's not kind of crimped in like this one is it's more of a flat flat top smooth sides kind of going up to it but this one looks pretty dang close his does have a, a band on it but it's small it's like skinnier than this band so this doesn't look perfect but it's pretty close as far as the hats that are available in the game go so yeah this light tan version of the Cayuga hat is going to be the best hat for this outfit next for the necktie you need the black neat string tie it looks exactly like the tie he wears in the movie you can't really beat it so that's the neckwear then for the vest this black version of the opulent vest which is unfortunately a vest you need to buy with gold so not everybody's going to want to get it but it does look the best it looks most like the one he wears in the movie except the one he has in the movie has black buttons and a lot of them he also has a gold pocket chain so i wish that was an option for something that you could use in the game but unfortunately at the time it's not so yeah this black opulent vest is the best but if you don't want to spend gold there's a couple other vests that work passably well this black bearer 
Chris vest will work. Uh, it doesn't look perfect because the one in the movie he wears is not leather and it doesn't have all these lines on it. This would work passingly well if you needed to. You could use this dark black version of the paisley vest. Uh, I think it looks a little bit too dark and a little bit too fancy, but it would work as well. The black Richfield vest doesn't look right because the buttons come in two lines here, but other than that, it would work as well if you needed to, I guess, use this vest. Maybe you already have it. This would work probably better than the other ones I've shown you so far other than the opulent vest. But yeah, like I said, I think the black variant of the opulent vest looks the best with the outfit and works the best if you're trying to imitate the way that it looks in the movie. For the shirt, this clean variant of the white everyday shirt is going to be the way to go. I mean, you could use any white shirt that you want, but this one definitely looks the best for it and I think fits with kind of the theme of his character from the movie the best. So the white everyday shirt is the way to go. Then for the jacket, I chose to use this clean variant of the, uh, this clean black variant of the roller jacket. Jacket. There's a couple other jackets that work. I think there's a black worsted coat. There's a black everyman jacket and I think a black Antoine jacket that all kind of look similar, but I think the roller jacket looks the best and the most like what he wears in the movie. It can't be too long, so you don't want to wear a duster or a marshal's coat or anything like that. It needs to kind of end right around where the level of the gun belt is. Like I said, I think the roller jacket looks the best. So for the gun belt, I went with this light brown version of the bandit gun belt. Uh, I think it looks a lot like the one he wears in the movie and like I've said in other jobs, John Wayne videos that I've made. It's kind of his iconic gun belt that he wears in all of his westerns, so that's why I went with this one. In the movie, as far as I know, you don't see him wearing it with a second holster, but he does have a matched set of revolvers, so I can only assume that he has a second holster, like in the lore for the movie. So that's why I have two on here, because when I play the game, I almost always dual wield revolvers. Since he actually iconically has a matched set of two revolvers, that's why I added a holster, and I just added the same color brown variant of the bandit holster on top of it because it matches the gun belt the best. So that is weapon equipment. As far as pants go, this is the only area where I couldn't find something that I would call perfect for how he looks in the movie, or at least really close to perfect, um, because there aren't really any good versions. So he wears uh, gray and black pinstriped pants in the movie, and they look pretty fancy. It's mostly gray with black pinstripes. There's nothing that really looks exactly like that as an option in the game. So I went with these gray studded pants because A, the primary color is gray, and you can see in the, because uh, they're basically corduroy pants, in the darker, the lower sections of the pants, it kind of looks like black pinstripes. So that's why I went with these. There's a version of the Bandito pants that have pinstripes. That they're spaced out a little bit too far to look like his, but you could use those but I think these ones look the best out of all the options we currently have. For the boots, we've got these bottom variant of the stovepipe square-toed boots, these brown ones. They look basically exactly like the ones he has in the movie. Clearly seen wearing square-toed boots, so they're not just going to be any old pointy cowboy boots. You got to wear the square-toed ones, and this is like the exact color that his are. So I think there really couldn't be any more perfect of a fit as far as the boots are concerned. Then lastly, for spurs, we've got these kind of worn-out black variant of the Gurdon spurs. They look, again, almost exactly like the ones he wears in the movie. I couldn't I went through all the spur options and I think these ones look the best if you don't have these ones and you just don't want to spend any more money I guess any dark brown or kind of worn black looking spurs would work but these ones are going to be the best look and uh as far as how you wear the outfit goes the boots should be underneath the pants the collar should well collar obviously has to be closed because you're wearing neckwear and the sleeve should be rolled down because in this movie he's a shootist but he's also old so he's he's decently proper in the way that he dresses so yeah that is the outfit in its entirety I think it looks pretty dang good. But yeah, that is where we're going to end the video today. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you've got any recommendations or anything you'd like to see me recreate in uh, Red Dead Online, definitely leave those down in the comments section. And that could be anything from real life historical people that lived in the late 1800s or anything from movies or TV shows that are set in, you know, that time period as well. I love making these videos and I love reading what people have to say about what they would like to see. And sometimes it's not possible, but a lot of times it is. So if you've got anything that you'd like to see, definitely let me know. If you like the video, I of course invite you to leave a like on it to show not only me, but also YouTube as a whole and anyone else that might be considering watching it, that it's a good video. And lastly, if you haven't already, I definitely uh, encourage you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. So that way you can actually see the videos that I release as I release them instead of just stumbling on them years later and being like, oh yeah, I remember this guy, you know, long after my channel has died because for me to grow, I need subscribers. So uh, with all that in mind, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, but in any case, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. 
But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.